Well, welcome back for the second half of this Division 1 second semi-final. Corio and Werribee Centrals. And the Corio side at the moment, 11-4-70 lead. Werribee Centrals, 7-6-48 by 22 points. And we just, uh, we've just we got Brainy back here. We're just waiting for Cookie to come back from the lovely half-time entertainment. He's just walked up here now. And, yes, uh, and uh, congratulations to the Eastern Suburbs. Oh, nice uh, providing beautiful. a very, very, uh, very lovely spread there this afternoon as Cookie struggles in here. And, uh, yep, yeah, good on you, Cookie. Umpire Murray Fanning to commence the third and vital quarter of football here at the Western Oval. And the big fella, Vilsons, gets first handle on the footy. But at ground level, Swampy Marsh swoops on the ball, gives it to Dave Cousins, who kicks a long bomb down, looking for Ashley Davey. And he takes a great mark in front of Brad Spicer. And the Devils looking ominous early stages of the third quarter. David Cook. Yes, they are, Roddy. And... <laughs> I think McCone's only off the ground for another three minutes, according to my reckoning, and they get them back on, and, well, then they get 18 on the ground. They were a bit good with 18 on the ground, weren't they, the, in that first half? Let's see how they go. We've just got 17 on the And he hasn't been reported either. Hasn't he wasn't reported, reported, just a yellow card. OK, here's Ashley Davey. Had a bit of time in defence during that second quarter. Kick. He usually a good kick for goal. It is Shepard, and it is Tash right on the line. One point only off the boot of Ashley Davy. There would have been a pretty handy one to start proceedings in the third quarter. They've gone 11 5 75 on the board. They lead what are we centrals at seven goals, six of 48 points. It is 23 points. The difference, I think, Ronnie. That's uh, not a bad call, Cookie. And uh, yes, there is Helen Smith, the legend around lunchtime out there at the Cryo Devils playground. And she always loves to have a good time, does our Helen? Just while you're talking to Helen, Roddy, I'll get Jason to take the call. OK, Spice has kicked it into the middle of the ground. A free kick found for Carayo. And it's going to be taken by Butter Etridge. He's short little kick towards Swampy Marsh. And he's taken the mark. Plays on quickly. Right foot kick and a good kick too because it's up towards the fu full four position. Tyquin. Rose the pack there. Oh, he can handball over the top. He goes for goal though. He doesn't have to handball because he's kicked his fourth goal of the afternoon. And a good start for the Devils in this second half. I think uh, Wayne Tyquin would have been speaking to the boys at half time about uh, refocusing back onto the match. They slip, let it slip away a bit in the final stage of that second quarter where Werribee fought back within to within 22 points at half time. We see the Upco Easy Shops third quarter scoreboard. Corriah kicked that goal 12 5 77. They lead Werribee Centrals 7 6 48. Upco Easy Shops flush up. That's got the lot there at North Geelong. They're East Geelong. They are at Newcomer. They're down there at Sunny Bow and Heads with a fat man, Roddy Brain. <laughs> serves the petrol and he drinks the kerosene. And here he is bringing us a bit of the coal in the third quarter. Yeah, Viltson's again doing well for the Centrals out of the middle. Got it to Jackson who kicks the half foot. Ord Ludic being held without the football. David Roach against you, and Luke Luttick gets the footy at half forward. Goes on the left foot, there's Luke Luttick. He goes high, long, he goes wide, two towards Stretton, stepped away there by uh, Greg Cottle. He's been a good player in defence today, I like his game. He hits for the boundary line, and gets the, uh, the throw in there. Just talking to Michael Wood, the Mono Worry uh, full forward, what are you, kick? So he kicked 90 and 90 goals, one near, I think. He just said that Luke Luttick carved them up one day. He said, terrific. He said, and he started off terrific. He said, but since Roach went back onto him, haven't seen him much. I said he was dragged. Mm. He said, well, it's pretty hard to get a kick when you're dragged. <laughs> yep, certainly is, Cookie. Thrown in. Sam Janiv gets a tap to the back of the pack. Great roving there by Field. Kick up in the air. Nearly taking a mark there was Paul Field. He gets one over the shoulder. And yeah, Greg Cockrell, a little bit unlucky mm. that he counter, but the tackle was high. So he'll take the free kick from about 35 metres out, 40 metres out from goal, directly in front. Hasn't troubled the score as yet this afternoon, Paul Field, but he played very well when he came off the bench in that second quarter. He did a good job. Mm. He got in the play a bit, didn't he? Yep, helped Werribee Central's kick those four or five quick goals towards the end of the second quarter. Get them back into the match. Field now goes long. It's a wobbly kick off the boot. It's going to be deep in there. There's a pack of players. Tapped through by Roach. Oh, it's hit the bottom of the pack. Ray Robertson gets a quick kick towards the boundary line to relieve the pressure for Carayo. He's done just that. Yeah, good football from uh, the veteran of many games, Ray Robertson, doing a fine job for the Carayo side here this afternoon. And uh, finds the boundary a good uh, 35 metres away on the outer side here of the Western Oval with Werribee Central's into attack. Boundary umpire sets the ball back into play. Up goes Robertson, knocks the ball to the turf. It's stepped away by Vultsons. Here comes 
Oh, in the back, was that paid? No, it wasn't. Play on as the call. As a central player, almost James Ryan it was, was going to have a bit of a shot, was pushed, I thought. Cole Fraser gathers. Left foot kick from Cole. Not too much travel on the football. Cockwell goes up at the, and so too does Cousins with the fist. Push in the back there, not played again. Uh, Cornwall got the ball out. Cole Fraser hand pass back in the direction of Jackson in a bit of stripe. Got a hand pass away, pretty tough down there. There's many players going out the football. No one's able to handle it cleanly. Can it come out of the pack? No because the umpire has deemed that it will be a bounce down decision. It is, it's worked its way back outside the 50, right on the 50 metre line in fact, with the centrals in attack. Vilchens up against O'Toole, so Vilchens wins that one quite easily. Cousins goes through, so does Greg Cockle, gets a right foot kick out towards the wing position where Mark Brown leads Barry Delaney in the race for the ball. Also, Stephen O'Keefe coming across to help with Membry. There's Brown all, he falls over the crucial stage though, gets his handball away, good play. Membry's in front now of O'Keefe. Barry Delaney is there to help him out too. He gets tackled though by O'Keefe, good play by O'Keefe. Membry, Membry gets a kick, a short little kick away towards Fraser. Pack develops out on the wing. And umpire Zampetti will come in and bounce the ball. And Steve O'Keefe, I dips me lid. That was a great tackle to hold. And he was he was one out against three. And he, the tackle was, was didn't get the free kick. He just held the ball in. He could play as uh, umpire now Zampetti bounces down. No one gets a decisive tap. Ray Robertson gets uh, a second bite at the cherry. Got one there from uh, Brett Dave. Membry. As uh, we see the ball is now ricocheted from that contest out of bounds. In between half forward and out of side centre wing please, with Karaya just slightly into attack. Thrown in now, over the back of the pack, Dave Cousins can take it there. Left foot kick long towards Tyquin. He's got a couple against him. He's in front. Also Sharky's there. G quick left foot kick just across the goal. Face and one behind. His first minor score this afternoon. Three goals, one. Marco Tool. Jeez, the dangerous player. He's not bad having your side, is he? Yeah, very handy player. And, uh, he's been uh, quite effective in the opportunities that he's been given here this afternoon. 12 6 78, Karaya, Wellery Central, 7 goal, 6 48. That is on the Apco Easy Shop scoreboard. It's 30 points to difference, and uh, the ball is back into play. Up they go. Wilson's at uh, the back of the pack, but a good groundwork there uh, by Edgar. Over the top he goes. Well done there from the youngster. Edgar butters up again. Kicks long and half forward. Oh, Mark, not taken there by young Richard Field. Play on calls the umpire as now David Roach clears the footy. Working that 99 Guernsey. At Great half kick, back. Ronnie. Beautiful football because he's picked out uh, Nevada Cornwall, who takes a very nice overhead mark in front there of his opponent in Robert Eddie. He's forward to the centre as Cornwall. He chips it into the forward zone. The kick's okay. Karaya retained possession. Long kick to centre half forward. Big Brenton Wilson's drop back. Takes a good mark. He is, uh, well, midway between full back and centre half back. Oh, Johnny Cousins over the top. Takes a beauty. Plays on if you don't want. Hits the ground running. Long kick from Cousins. Teichman's up on top of his hands. It's through from behind. What do we call that? A point to uh, a rush one or uh, Johnny Cousins or a rush? I think we'll call that a rush. Gee whiz, Johnny Cousins. Great mark. Hit the ground running. Fired it in. Just couldn't quite get it uh, through the goal mouth. Tykeman got the hands on it, one point only. It's 12 7 79 to the Cryo side. Willoughby Central 7 6 48, and the ball's back in a play. Buck kicks it out towards half back flank, looking for James Ryan, and also Barry Delaney there, but it beats both of them over the boundary line. And we'll have a boundary throw in about 65 metres around from the Cryo goal. They've done most of the attacking in the early stage of this, thir of this third quarter. I thought you missed a couple of quarters there for a minute, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> Where you been? <laughs> Thrown in now. Cousins over the back. Great thump away. Gives his forwards an opportunity to run onto it. And there's one of them. Marco Tooley keeps the ball in front of him. Oh, right foot kick soccer style off the ground. But it's beaten him over the line. And a throw in. Yeah, bad luck for him there. Great work. He's uh, a bit of Juventus there. Kicking <laughs> off the... Uh, well, mid-air in actual fact, uh, well, could have got away with it, but the boundary umpire right on the job. And either, either Ronnie, he walks with a swagger or he's a little bit sore. Marco Tool. Boundary umpire throws it back into play. Wilson gets it backhanded down towards Brad Spicer. Chance to run the footy out of the fence here. Delaney's hand pass is not too good. Mick O'Toole, he's had a great day. Intercepts across he goes. Across they go again. Dave Cousins, what a quarter he had. He lightens up oh. on the left foot. Dave Cousins, goals! Oh, oh the halfback breaker bobs one right through. He's been down the forward line a bit. He's had about four bounces four times. He couldn't kick one. And he had no bounces that time, but he banged it right through the middle. And as we see that goal go through, Peter McCone has come back onto the ground. So it's evened everything up. So, Ooh, how many the, so uh, the Carrillo side move further in front. They're 13 goals, 7.85, and they lead Werribee Central 7.648 on the Apco Easy Shops third quarter scoreboard. We see that uh, 
Coming on is Andrew Scott okay, for so Werribee Centrals. And Danny uh, Burns putting Trav, his time clock says we've gone near enough to nine minutes oh. of this third quarter. Vilchens plucks it out of the ruck, goes towards centre half. Ford Ettridge is there, so is Beck. Colin Fraser goes off the ground, short little kick. Free kick could have been paid there to field. No free kick okay. coming, though. No. Roach gets it there at half okay. back. Handball out the back of the pack towards Mick O'Toole, surrounded by Werribee players. Paul Field does the hard work there. Luddick and also Etridge in there. Luddick gets a handball out. Beck and coming out at Sam Janiv. Good play because he was against three players. He held it up. He could have got a free kick for holding the man. Should have got a free kick for holding the man. There is a free kick picked out for Carollo. It's going to be taken by Neville or Roach. Has to come back. I think it might be Neville's. Well, it was a square for the one yeah, that, that he Jenny missed. That was a shocker. He should have got the free kick straight away. Well, okay, he squared it up. Ballerine scores at half time. Ocean Grove, 9 5 59. Six point leaders over Anglesey, 8 5 53. Who were 11 points up at one stage. Alan Woodman and Mr. Bruthow reported. Oh, right. Uh, I don't know about Bruthow, but I'm not surprised to see Woody got one. Here comes out of the centre of the Brown. Is it left foot kick? Not a bad one, too, to half foot. Nearly a mark. He nearly paid that. Ashley Davey, yeah, he's paid that one. Memory doesn't agree, nor does Brad Spicer. But Davey takes the kick and a tight one. Oh, he had the hands and it lost it. O'Keefe, 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 too slow to get the foot, the footy. And he kicks for goal as he loses his balance. It bounces over the boundary line, out of bounds. I have a boundary throw in right forward pocket. Great tackle, Jock Ryan. And no talk either for Carrillo there. Yeah, that's the question, yeah. Mark. Was he told O'Keefe yeah. he was hot? He should have kicked the goal, but he didn't know that he was going to get lumbered. Thrown in. Filchens at the front field. Baker roving the pack. That was also Scotty Johnson getting his kick away towards the boundary line at halfback. Out towards a 50-metre line and a boundary throw in. Two goals of the third quarter kicked. They've been kicked by Wayne Tyke, one of the two-minute mark, and Johnny Cousins, a magnificent goal at the nine-minute... No, no, sorry, Dave Cousins at the nine-minute mark. So the two goals this quarter have gone Carrier's way. They've increased their margin. They lead now by 37 points. Yes, and uh, the Devils, well, making a claim in this third quarter. This is the vital quarter of football. But was by the Apco Easy Shops in and around Geelong as the ball cleared down half back by, I think you'll find it was Fraser, but a nice mark taken out there at centre wing out of sight of the Western Oval, David Roach. To he's drive. played a good game, Ron. Mm. Yes, he's been very, very uh, effective at half back. A long kick. Looks up there for the lead all over the back oh. of the pack. Sharky. <laughs> O'Toole. Can he take a mark or what? Oh, great grab. <laughs> Out of position and somehow wrap the hands around the footy. And is he strutting or is he a bit sore? He might be a bit sore. I reckon he's a bit sore. But I think I, I think I got the player profile right in the record this week, though. I said can take a strong mark and can win a game off his own boot. Well, he went the short one on this occasion. It wasn't bad either. I think he might be a bit sore. He didn't go back and have the shot for goal. The short kick's OK. It's just into the the, the 30 metre zone. And uh, he's given it to Brother Mick. <laughs> he wants Mick him to kick a goal. Yeah, poor checking there from the defence of uh, Werribee because Mick O's taken the, the easiest of marks. No more than 25 metres out directly in front. Drop punt kick is a beauty. Splits the woodwork here at Western Oval. And Michael O'Toole kicks his first and a very handy 14th goal for the Devils, who are starting to really get a real handle on this game of football here this afternoon. Up go Easy Shop, third quarter scoreboard. Carayo, 14 7 91. Lead Werribee Central's 7 6 48. To say they're getting a handle on it, running at the 12 and a half minute mark of the Bannockburn Sporting Trap. His third quarter is an understatement. They are almost double Werribee Central score now. And uh, the, uh, the signs are ominous. And I can't relate how well that big Ray Robertson has done. With a, with a, well, he's had a shocking league injury for two years, I think, from memory. He's come back and played the last few games. He's done a great job on Brendan Wilson. Brendan's played pretty well. But he's been able to limit him to not a little bit less than average game for him. Now, that's a great effort. And the big fella should uh, be hanging his head very high, I would suggest, not very low because his performance has been great and it's given all the little players a chance to get into the game because yeah. Werribee Centrals have not had first use of the football. Good call, Cookie. <sighs> I think you're right there, Cookie. For once. Oh, it's three out of three. <laughs> got, take me five years of broadcasting to get one right. Up they go. Up goes Viltons. He could not the ball to the turf. Here comes Swampy Marsh. He can't hang on to the football. Little hand pass comes out. Another one will come out in the direction there of Govan, is it? Yes, it. No, Robbie Edgar it was. Right foot kick down a half foot. Luddick oh, from behind. Mark. You can't take marks there. I tell you what. The leader. Hold me name is back in the matter. I'm the leader of the band. He can take a mark. And he goes on the left foot. The one's settling. Baker from behind. Can't have Mark Viltons from there. Viltons hand passes okay. 
away. Gets a hair pass away to Andrew Scott's on the ground now. And he kicked into a nest of demons into the Devil's play, Playground. He kicked that body <laughs> and it wasn't a good one. It winds up with O'Keefe. Here comes O'Keefe. Long bomb. Oh. A great mark. Brendan Wilson's going back into the pack and takes a very good mark for the Werribee side. And uh, he's just told to go back behind his mark and he does so. And now the umpire is saying, no, you can't do that, Brenton. Well, this is good for Karaya, right? They're able to pick up all uh, of these players that had been around. Uh, now he's still decided to play on anyway. J Jason, tell us something about what's happening He handballed it to Timmy Ellis, and Timmy Ellis goes towards centre-half forward. McCone's up, fields down, gets it. Gets the ball to in front of Johnny Cousins. Left foot kick towards Roland Beck. Inside half forward. Good play by the Cryer defence though to come across and see the ball over the line. Scoreboard 7 goals, 648 points. Will it be Central's Cryer 14 7 91. An established break in this third quarter. Ronnie Brain. And can they keep going? Well, I think at the moment they can. As we see that the, well, the big man, Robertson, dictating terms in the centre of the boundary throw in. But at ground level, though, doing well, Timmy Ellis lost his footing at the crucial time. Support Jackson, ridden into the ground. Pack of players fall on the footy. And up by Zampatti will come in and bounce down at centre-half forward with the Werribee Central side into attack. Umpires have been very quick, Jason, to get in and make sure nothing starts. Yeah, they have. They've been very consistent this afternoon too. And we were just speaking uh, off air before Brony and I about uh, how consistent they've been this afternoon. We see Vilch uh, Stretton tap it out. There's Mick O'Toole again. Left foot kick back into the centre of the ground. Baker in front and gets held. Going for the ball. Brad Spicer there. It's a little bit close, and the Baker boy will take the free kick inside the centre square. Goes towards centre half forward. Tyquin's up and had his name written oh, all over that. Oh, strong grab from the big fellow. He is 52 metres out from goal when he lines up for the shot. I reckon he'll back himself. He's a full forward, but he won't pass this, will he? Well, yeah. Just yes or no? No, you won't. Okay, here comes Tyquin. <laughs> He's 52 metres in. He kicks from 51. Long kick from Tyquin. The distance is there. The accuracy is. Offline, one point only, just dripped into the right-hand side, but I knew he'd have a shot. <laughs> Four goals, two off the boot of Wade Dykeman, been quite productive this afternoon. So that moves the Devils along to 14-8-92, and they lead Werribee Central 7-6-48 on the Atco Easy Shops third quarter scoreboard. Gareth Buck waiting for the ball to come back. Ronnie, moves for Central's can make, what can they do? They've got well, to change this play. What are they going to do? Well, I think, you know, they've just got to probably match up and be a little bit tighter at the moment. You can only do with what you've got. And, uh, well, at the moment, it's not looking too good for them, is it? It's looking worse now. Who's that, Davey? Is it having a flying shot for goal? And this kick in. Buck goes back and marks his kick in right on the defensive line. He goes out wide. He looks for uh, Timmy Ellis. Punched away from him at ground level. Here come the Baker boy. Baker boy is back to bread. You can taste the difference. He tips it in shortly. It's a beautiful <laughs> kick too. And he's found. Who's playing on Dave Cousins? Because I don't know who it is, but he should be off and someone else on. <laughs> I, don't, I don't reckon he had a shower last night. <laughs> oh, he's, he's been on his the, own uh, a lot today. He, is, he, he has absolutely... Uh, Really uh, created a lot of problems for the where we sit on the side of the south. 48 plays, 92, Ronnie. Cousins comes in on the left foot. He goes for gold. As the Dave, he's just off a little line. It's one point only. Oh, they could have buried him here in this quarter. Who is playing on Dave Cousins? Well, well Andrew Scott is at the moment, and I think uh, he took Colin Fraser, uh, Darren Fraser off. So I think Darren Fraser had been playing on him this <laughs> afternoon. Now Scott is kick out by Buck. Out towards Vilchins and also Robinson. Vilchins gets a push in the back and will take the free kick at half back. So Vilchins getting a tough time from Robinson. He's played well this afternoon on him. We just wait for Vilchins to get the ball off the bike track. 14 9 93 plays 7 6 48. 45 points of difference at the moment. Vilchins short little kick to Membry. He takes the mark, plays on quickly. Edgar. Handball to Scotty Johnson running off the back line. Quick right foot kick is a good one because he's found Scott. who got, got away from Dave Cousins this time. Spicer running from the back line. Oh, we'll put him under pressure. He has to handball, but a great handball to Brendan Jackson who ran through the centre of the ground. Up to full forward, Sam Janiv. Good. Oh, he held on to him though. He played well there to get back onto field, I think it was. Yep, Richard Field, but then... Uh, the indiscretion was holding the man, and Field will take the free kick. Ronnie, no doubt about the free kick in my book. Yeah, no doubt it was there. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, umpire Zampetti hasn't missed a trick all day. Richard Field waltzes in from 10 metres out directly in front and bangs through. He's second for the afternoon, and a badly needed eighth goal for the Centrals. First goal for the third quarter, kicked by Richard Field for the Winnery Centrals. 
and the uh, the scoreboard shows Carayo 14.993, and just waiting on that Willoughby Central score to come up. There it is, eight goals, six fifty-four points. That's on the Abco Easy Shop scoreboard. The time clock will show us that we have travelled. I reckon about uh, seven and a half minutes. Oh, 18, nearly 19 minutes gone in this third quarter. The ball's back to the middle. Nevada Cornwall's in there. So too is Ray Robertson for Carrillo. Bounce down, favours uh, Viltson. He gets the knockout too. It's OK. Stretton comes up the ground. Can't get it. Carrillo get a little kick away. Taken away from them, though, by Ricky Gavin, who took the mark. Pied the ball in towards half forward. Too far for Beck. Couldn't take the mark. Now, Carrillo a chance in defence. Well, they head for the band line. McCone's back on the ground. Gets across to Etridge, the butler. The hand pass. Not too bad. Bad. Put Brown on a bit of pressure. Brown, good enough to get it away. Here comes McNamara. Fires it out to Vlado Semjanev. Gathers it cleanly on this occasion. Right foot kick up and under, though, from Vlado. And the mark taken out there. Looks like James Ryan. And he plays on. He eludes the player outside 50. Kicks the ball into the forward zone. Dropping back. Semjanev punched the ball away. Picked up here. And a flying shot at the goal mouth by Andrew Scott. Got and he kicks the Central's goal. Great kick under a lot of pressure on him. Had to wait for the goal umpire. He takes a long time, that goal umpire, doesn't well, he, to give the decision? Well, maybe the Central's just taking a little bit long uh, asking you for the all clear. And, uh, well, on that occasion, kept us all in suspense, but I knew it was a sausage roll because I was sitting right behind the flight of that one. Great goal. Good snapshot, Andrew Scott. I thought he was going to say, because I know everything. <laughs> Nine, <laughs> six, 60, we're in Central's career, 14, 993. Margin 33 points. Apco Easy Shop, third quarter scoreboard. 20 and a half minutes gone on the Baddick Burn Spotty Trophies time clock. Bilchins takes it out of the ruck. Paul Welsh style gives it to Puppy Field. Gets a right foot kick towards Luddick. He has to take the mark because he's surrounded by cryo players. And there's one of them. McNamara gets the handball straight from Luddick. Good kick. He kicks it long towards centre half four. But a good mark backing back into the pack was Brett Membry. And he takes the mark. Oh, he played on quickly. He got the call from the umpire. Left foot kicks a poor one. Barry Delaney can't take the mark. Johnny Cousins has got the ball on a string there. Handball out. Puts his teammate under pressure, but good running there. Gets it back from O'Keefe. Oh, he handballs inside. Mark Brown. Can he get shepherded? He gets around one. Left foot kick. They're going just across the ground. They're still in the middle now. Dave Cousins takes the mark. Falls Here's over. the bloke with B.O. Dave <laughs> Cousins has got it again. He's got the worst body out of a must have because no one been near him all day. Dave Cousins goes to tight when he's pushed out of it, got hands to it, but couldn't handle it. Little kick out of the fence. Tumbles towards boundary line, almost centre wing. Kept in play there too for Carrillo by Cornwall. Gave it back to his teammate there, the old leader of the band. He chipped into Dave Cousins. He got an opponent on that occasion. Lost the football. Central's a little chance here. They've just got to steady. The ball's up the roll on Beck. He takes the mark. That kick came from Puppy Field, and the kick was okay too because Beck got it. He got it down a half forward. Etridge at ground level gets it across the road, by the ground game, and he goes across the ground with the centre half back. Yes, and Mickey O'Toole and Cole Fraser just uh, not enjoying each other's company at the moment, but the ball is with Dave Cousins. Another possession. A little chip looking for Ray Robertson. Chipped in there. Good work, Jock uh, Ryan. Got support now from uh, your fight. That's Cole Fraser. Up there to half forward he goes. Good knock away. Opportunity Scott quickly onto his boot. Loose ball at half forward. Sees Roach now. Quickly. Oh, good footy. Chip it over on the left foot and find Johnny Cousin at half back. Oh, he slips over at the crucial stage there. Good pressure by Delaney, but he handballs it back inside. McCone in the middle of the ground. Right foot kick towards Baker. Get, can't take the mark. Tyquin's out there. Bucks on his hammer. He gets the ball. Handball over the top. Puts Edgar under pressure because he has to sit and wait. Cornwall's there. It's still deep in defence. Buck will see it over the boundary line. It's been the story all day, yeah. hasn't it, with Werribee? Every time they've got the ball, they've made it very difficult for their teammate up the ground with poor foot and hand passing all afternoon. For Werribee, off comes Luke Luddick and on goes. <laughs> Not Paul Stretton at all. It is Darren Harton. <laughs> Good boy, Cookie. As you see the loose ball now thumped uh, out there of the defence for the Werribee Central side by Timmy Ellis. Finds the boundary line about 60 metres from the Carrillo goal. Ray Robertson playing a kick behind the game. Wilson's there, the ruck work with Tyquan. And uh, up they go. Tyquan gains the front position, knocks the ball to the turf. Here's Dave Cousins, hand pass out. It's not bad, too. Got it towards, uh, that looked like uh, O'Keefe. Back it comes in the direction of John Cousins at centre half forward. He straightens up and goes for the half forward flank. Out comes Sharky. O'Toole. Can he beat one? He beats two, if you don't mind. Straightens up and he's favourite left foot. He goes for home. He's missed to the right hand side. Oh, geez, exciting, Ronnie. 
Yeah, he's very exciting player. Like he's got a ton of dash and class. And uh, he beat two it, opponents yeah. without batting an eyelid. Then yeah, did it comfortably, didn't he? Just easy. Just kicking let him down that occasion. He should have kicked the goal. 14 10 94 Carayo Central's nine six sixty on the Apco Easy Shops third quarter scoreboard. Buck kicked out to the middle of the ground and a free kick found. Just on the point of the square, it's going to go to Rick Govan at half back for holding the man. So he's going to push it deep into attack. Goes with his right boot towards Stretton. He gets a push in the back. Etridge is there. Stretton now. Handball over the top. He's got Colin Fraser running. He can set something up here. Right foot kick up towards Sam Janiv and Field. It's through for one behind to the Werribee Central side off the boot of Colin Fraser. So that will move Werribee Central's to 9 7 61 and Karaya 14 10 94. And that's 33 points of difference. Dave Roach will play on from fullback for Carayo. He does so now. Right foot kick to the outer side. Etridge and also Fraser. Good kick because he's found Etridge. Play on the call though. No mark. Butters there towards the boundary line. And he's 94 got play 61 as it's towards the boundary line. That's on the Epco Easy Shop scoreboard. 14 10 94. Carayo. Webby Central's 9 7 61. And he's found a free kick for a push out straight away from Etridge. Push it out over the boundary line. So a free kick to Colin Fraser. Goes towards centre half forward. And he's found Timmy Ellis. Oh, and he didn't. Looked too healthy there as he took the mark. Nah, Timmy's not well. He's uh, got a bad record in finals, Timmy. I think he got a jaw broken in a uh, final four panic burn, I think, Monty. Yes, that's correct. Last Lee. year against Monawari. Well, he's kicked this time. A bit of a lazy drop punt. Looks up there for Roke. That was Jackson. Couldn't take the overhead grab. Hotly pressed there by Zemjedip. It was Richard Field, in actual fact. There's been a, an infringement though on Mark Brown, who was hard at the footy. It's against Darren Harton. And Mark Brown, who's been busy all afternoon here this afternoon for the Carayos side, playing at centre wing. He's actually in the back pocket at the moment for the Devils. He kicks the ball on left foot. Look for Ray Robertson. Didn't try to mark. Tried to step into the arms there of the running Mark Etridge, the butter. But uh, too far to carry on that thump away. And, uh, well, he hasn't taken many marks today, Ray Robertson. He's elected to knock the ball away, and he's done it pretty well on most occasions. Wouldn't mind seeing him take a couple of grabs now. He must have his confidence up a bit. Boundary umpire throws the ball back into play. Far side of the ground at the Western Naval. Here comes Ellis at ground level. Runs to almost the 50. Chips it into the pocket. Looking there for the lead of field. He couldn't take the mark on that occasion. Etridge gathers just inside the line. Keeps the ball in play. Trying to crash his way through McNamara. Got the hand pass away. Taken away from him. Here's Stretton. Got the hand pass back towards Ryan. Fends off a tackler. And then goes on right foot towards Towards the forward zone and Vallado Semjani took the mark. He seemed to drop that one, but he's been paid the mark. He is 25 metres out from goal. He's defending and he will set Carreo free from the defensive zone. Goes to looking for the lead from Davey. Good play by Govan to intercept. Andrew Scott's there. He keeps it in front of him, pushes it towards 40. Oh, good play though by Carreo because they can run through centre half forward now. Ricky Neville runs now with his right boot towards O'Toole and Johnson one out at centre half forward. Roving Swampy marshes there also. O'Toole on hands and knees gives it to Swampy. If he can get a handball away, they're away here because Baker's there, but he's pressured by Spicer. They've got Dave Cousins further downfield. Here he is now. There's o there's Tyke when he can turn around and give it to O'Toole. He can give it to Dave Cousins. He can walk into goal and kick. He has to sit and wait. Here comes Barry Delaney. He can turn around. Left foot goal. Too Tell you what, too he, could easy. Have thought he could have done three push-ups by the time <laughs> the ball got to him and picked it up, done three more, and then kicked the goal. He nearly did. Not a problem at all. But he'd walked down there and strolled down there and was waiting there for 30 seconds. No Werribee player picked him up. Well, it's been like it all afternoon, and uh, Curio moved to 15-10-100. The uh, scoreboard showing Werribee Central's 9-7-61. Margin now 39 points on the Abco Easy Shop. Third and vital quarter of football here at the Western Oval. Ronnie, the Dadding Thomases, have they finished? You're one of them. Yes, they finished you now? are. How are they going, Karaya? Are they playing all right? They're playing very well indeed. Tell you what, the ball's back in the centre, and I think I think they've been out coached. I'll tell you what, I reckon he's done a great job. The coach, Wayne Tykeman, as the ball's bounced in the middle, out of the centre comes Timmy Ellis, been to Taylor's tryout this afternoon, goes down towards field, out he comes, couldn't grab it on the first grab, hand pass, lands back in the arms of Cole Fraser, goes this way, goes that way, hand pass, back towards field, he's in trouble. They're pressing him brilliantly. McNamara can't get the kick away, Great tackle, Stretton. Here comes Jackson. He has claimed in the tackle. The umpire says, uh, too long. You can't too do long. that. I, I thought it might have gone that way, but I wanted the umpire's decision. 
and the leader of the band. The old air old mate, Darren McNamara, takes the ball from the back line. Looks for Davey in the middle of the ground. Good play by Ryan to tap it away. Also, there was Nevada Cornwall, but Ryan's the first one to butter up. Gets a right-hand handball, which is a poor one because he sets Scott up over the back of O'Keefe. Memory running through center half back. Left-hand handball to Edgar. They're running nicely along half forward. Poor kick, by, though, by Scott. Sam Janiv's there. He's going to get tackled by Beck. That's dropping the ball. No, it isn't because it's too high. And Vlado will take the free kick, and it'll be 50 also for kicking the ball away after he'd given away the free kick. Yeah, a little bit stiff, oh, I think. Very, oh, I think so. I think he's got a point to uh, talk to the umpire about. And Brendan Jackson doesn't mind talking to the umpire. That's the third or fourth time this afternoon Brendan's been right into his ear. He might have an umpiring career in mind, perhaps, Ronnie, when he finishes playing. <laughs> just, just asking getting, him for the uh, right rule. Just getting a few <laughs> hints on the rules, yeah. yeah. Now, so, that was a bit tough. But, I mean, well, that's the way it goes. You win them and wear them. You don't kick the ball away afterwards. Yeah, good call. Undisciplined. That's the second good call. And Vic Vol yes, two I've got right for five years. Here <laughs> comes Volato, Sam Jenny, long right foot kick from Volato. Up they go, O'Till's up from behind. He can't mark on this occasion. Johnny Cousins gets the rebound. Up and under, kick towards the forward zone by Cousins. Oh. Tyke one goes back and he outmarks Buck. He has given him a fair to combat this afternoon. Wayne Tyke one's kick four goals, too. I reckon you chalk this one up. This will be 5 2. He hasn't done bad, Ronnie Brain. Played very well, and uh, his tactical move maneuvers at the start of the game. Match winning. Yes, interesting to listen to Wayne Tight when speak before the game. We were privileged to do that, and uh, that swung me in as well. I thought he spoke brilliantly. I don't know if he kicked too brilliantly here. We'll wait on this. He's kicked that uh, not quite so brilliantly as he speaks. He was trying to sell the umpire in it too. He put the arms up. <laughs> yeah, four, four goals, three to Wayne Tight one. Pretty handy break now. 9 7 61 to 15. 11, I think it is, 101. Kick out by Buck, finds memory at centre-half back, gives a quick handball to Jackson. Good kick by him because he's got Roland Beck running along the centre. He gets one bounce, right foot kick towards, or poor kick though, by Beck, looking for Fraser and also Stretton out there wide near the 50-metre line out of side half-forward flank, but it's beaten all players over the line and a boundary throw in. So I was saying earlier, Jason, it makes it very hard when the disposal is very lacklustre. And again, another opportunity gone begging for the Centrals, but the ball is on their 50 metre line. Boundary throw in. Up they go. Oh, good work, Richard, uh, Robertson again. Got it down to Ricky Neville. Quick hands there to Cousins, whose quick kick dropped short straight to the arms of Brendan Jackson at half back for the, I should say half forward for the uh, Werribee Central side. He goes on the right foot. Cousins in front uses the fist before Stretton can get there. Nevada Cornwall gets a little kick in. Slung off it as he got the foot to the footy. Here's Field. That's Richie Field. Can't get the hand pass away. Comes back to him. Can he pick it up this time? In goes Cousins again. Here comes uh, the book like Mick O'Toole. Knocking the ball out of bounds. And they've worked in numbers today, Jason. The Corio boys, they've been right there the whole time, haven't they? And anybody who said Sam Jenny can't play at fullback would uh, not be a Downing Thomas anymore either. He's done a fantastic job on Stretton this afternoon. As we hear. Fair job. And the siren oh, goes, I... and uh, Jason looks at Ronnie Brain when he makes those comments. It's siren time here before the fight starts up in the box. <laughs> at three quarter time, <laughs> we have nine goals, seven. And that is a total of 61 points on the board for the Wadabi Centrals. Karaya have gone to 15 goals and also 11 behinds. That's 101 for the quarter. The Willoughby Central's managed two goals, one. Carrillo outscored them in every quarter so far. They kicked four goals, seven, and probably should have kicked eight or nine goals. I think they've got their ticket into the grand final now, Ronnie, as the Apco Easy Shop scoreboard comes up in front of us. And Wayne Tykwin, I dips my lid. You've coached this side brilliantly this afternoon. And Ronnie, any more comments before we go off the air? No, mate, no comment at all. I think the scoreboard tells the story here this afternoon at the Western Oval for the 1995 Division One second semi-final. 40 points to margin. Corio doing it comfortably here. Back shortly with the action of the final quarter.